Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on introduction to safety instrumented system SIS. This topic will be on safety instrumented function. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly subscribe to the channel. What is safety instrumented function? Safety instrumented function explains what safety instrumented system does. SIF basic function include below categories how and out of limit or abnormal process condition will be detected how the process will be brought to a safe condition without any human intervention these two categories explains the SIFS requirement as per IEC 61511 this is the international standard SIF is designed to achieve the required SIL which is determined with the other protection layers participating to the reduction of same risk. We would have seen in the earlier presentation videos that there are multiple protection layers. Each one is called independent protection layer. So they have to act concurrently. Actually they have to act one over the other. So the SIF is designed to achieve the SIL determine with the other protection layers that's what's the function first level is the bpcs control layer next level is the operation alarm response by the operators next one is the safety instrumented function layer further we have the protection layers like uh, pressure safety valve pressure relief valves etc safe is designed to achieve the required cell which is determined with the other protection layers safety instrumented function allocation safety instrumented function allocation means of detecting the required risk reduction for the chosen or allocated safety function on the PNID. In the PNID, it will be marked so the safety function has to be allocated accordingly. Health safety environment risk management team should obtain and review tolerable risk criteria applicable to the facility from the end user. This shall also include spurious trip rate data and risk ranking methodology this also includes safety in integrity level allocation methodology these are all the further technical uh, terms which will be used while calculating the safety integrity level and calculating the sys requirement spurious step rate is by the instrument and valves manufacturers data so they have to analyze these things for making the required SIF allocation. We are talking SIF again and again. So better we'll understand it through a PNID. SIF defines what the SIS system must do to control a specific abnormal process condition. SIF is defining what the SIS must do to control a specific abnormal process condition. It can be understood with the description. We are just explaining it over a small PNID. This is a distillation column. A feed is coming into the distillation column. It is having one reboiler. Reboiler stream is being admitted to do the required stream heating. And then from this reboiler, the outlet is going to the next process. And further, we have some coolant available for the condenser. And there are reflector arms available. And the reflux is also being sent into the distillation column and the collected distillate is taken out and going to the next process okay in the distillation column we have some measurement instruments here we have one temperature transmitter which is shown in black so this is in the measurement loop which is in the bpcs control system so this temperature loop is being controlling the control valve to operate and admit the stream required stream Whenever there is over pressure in the column or temperature is exceeding high, the temperature transmitters, the other two temperature transmitters, these are shown in the red color, so which is part of the safety instrumented system, safety instrumented function. And these two temperature transmitters are sensing the in a temperature inside the vessel, and this is uh, signals are going into the logic solver, safety instrumented system logic solver. And the, from the logic solver, the output is going to the valve. This is EBV, emergency black valve. 
so here the cis stops the stream feed to the reboiler this will be in action whenever the temperature inside the column exceeds the preset limits okay in this distillation column example shown when the temperature in the column reaches a specified point as measured by tt10096 and 10097 these two are the temperature elements tt10096 and 10097 so and this is measured and then steam to the reboiler will be closed by abv12390 automated block wall or it is emergency block wall abv or abv okay each sif is numbered according to the business rules here we are seeing sif 1111 so in this particular efficiency motor function is numbered with this number sif 11111 so all the relevant sensors and the final control elements they are having the same sif number on the p and id sis components are typically identified by a hexagonal symbol that will give the sif number in the symbol see here seeing this sif number we are seeing in the hexagonal picture so uh, this is identification for the safety instrumented function this temperature elements are belonging to the safety instrumented system and then it is having a sif number and the, similarly this emergency block wall is also belonging to the safety instrumented system and uh, this is the Uh, relevant sip number because in the process plant there are uh, several thousands of uh, sensors valves and uh, other measurement uh, elements so each has to be identified separately for a quick understanding and for the instrument maintenance people and the operation people to get an immediate knowledge how this particular instrument is behaving and where it is connected supposing if this instrument is not working they have to see the relevant uh, alarm and system window in the dcs screens and then there could be some error reported over here if it is reported so the same has to be informed to the maintenance technician or if it is not reported or just simply it is not showing any reading they have to call the particular technician maintenance technician and maintenance engineer of the plant to say that this particular element the tt 110096 is not working like that they have to report for which the numbering sequence is given in an unique way in the field sis equipment associated with a given sif will typically be identified with a supplemental hexagonal tag that gives sif number in the field where the actually the ten, uh, temperature ten, temperature element and temperature transmitters are located that will be in the plant area there also it will be identified with an hexagonal tag hexagonal tag showing sif number so that the tag number of the instrument plus sif number of the particular uh, system will be easily identified for the ease of the operation and maintenance team this is very important for the proper identification otherwise there could be a chance of an error instead of attending to the t10096 people may go on attend another one this is tt10046 which is also identif identical and it is in the same location so if the tagging philosophy is not properly maintained there could be a chance of an error by attending to a wrong instrument so the tagging philosophy and the sif identification need to be made actually in, in the field also for making an error free maintenance sif identification the sif safety instrument uh, function identification for identifying the sif easiest way is to provide a unique sif identifier in the lopa workbook or lopa database tool for each function so while developing the lopa the each scenario will be numbered uniquely which is giving the sif number this makes sorting very easy and a unique sif identifier will eventually be needed for sif documentation a common sif identification scheme is to make the first three numbers the same as the p and id number of the sis sensors and the last two numbers be a unique sif number on that p and id page the each p and id will be having different uh, sequence of numbers 
the identification is given for the shift number shift instrumented function the first three digit three numbers after the shift is related to the pndd number where this particular instrument uh, sensor is being installed and the last uh, two numbers they are an in unique identifier for uh, for example in this particular pndd there could be some eight or nine sensors or there may be still more so the this numbering gives an sequential uh, reference for the operations and maintenance team to identify and attend to the respective instrument in case of any fault or in case of any maintenance required this is a typical identification which may vary each plant and epc each plant owner and the engineering procurement construction company may be having a different tagging methodology so accordingly they will provide this is a typical one more, more or less the epcs and uh, different engineering companies will follow the standard but there could be some difference based on the geographical location of the plant based on the end users requirement etc normally the pndd page will be referred in the sif along with an additional uh, unique identifier these are all the basic requirements and uh, needs of the safety instrumented function how it will be used we understood what is sif and how it is being used in the process plant and how to number it and what is the kind of tag to be used in the field for the identification of the maintenance people and the operation people to make any routine maintenance or to attend to any faults this has to be followed thoroughly to avoid any mistakes okay thank you